Have you ever wondered how a flower forms? Picture a world of vibrant hues, delicate petals and intoxicating scents. This is the world of flowers, a vital component of our ecosystem. But what's behind these botanical beauties? How do they come into being and what's their purpose beyond their aesthetic appeal? These are questions we'll explore as we journey into the fascinating world of flower formation. So, brace yourself for an adventure into the colorful, captivating and complex realm of botany. Stay tuned as we delve into the fascinating world of flowering plant morphology. Think of a flower as nature's masterpiece, a complex composition of different parts working together. Let's embark on a journey to unravel this masterpiece and understand the main parts of a flower. The petals, sepals, stamen and carpel. Each of these parts has a unique role, working in unison to ensure the flower's survival and reproduction. First, we have the petals. These are often the most noticeable part of a flower due to their vibrant colors and attractive patterns. But they're not just there for the show. They play a vital role in attracting pollinators like bees, butterflies and birds. These creatures are drawn to the petals' bright hues and sweet fragrance, assisting in the flower's pollination process. Next, we have the sepals. These are the green, leaf-like parts that encase the blossom before it opens. They act as a protective shield, safeguarding the flower bud from harsh weather and potential predators. Once the flower blooms, they may remain underneath the petals or fall away. Moving deeper into the flower structure, we encounter the stamen, the male reproductive organ of a flower. It consists of two parts, the filament, a thin stalk, and the anther, which produces and holds the pollen. When a pollinator visits, it brushes against the anther, collecting pollen that it will carry to the next flower it visits. Finally, at the heart of the flower lies the carpel, also known as the pistil. This is the female reproductive organ and is composed of the stigma, style and ovary. The stigma catches the pollen brought by pollinators. From there, the pollen travels down the style to reach the ovary, where fertilization occurs, leading to the creation of seeds. So, when you look at a flower, remember that it's more than just a pretty face. It's a complex and intricate system, each part performing a specific function, all working together for the flower's survival and reproduction. Each part plays a critical role in the life of a flower, making it a work of natural art and science. But how does this masterpiece come to life? It's a captivating story of growth and transformation. Much like a butterfly emerging from its cocoon, the birth of a flower is an exquisite process of evolution and metamorphosis. It all starts with a tiny bud, a small encapsulated promise of the beauty and elegance that lies within. This bud is not formed out of thin air. It is the result of a series of intricate steps that take place within the plant. The plant's hormones, particularly one called auxin, play a significant role in the formation of buds. These hormones control the growth of cells, guiding them to form the bud that will eventually transform into a flower. As the bud begins to grow, it is covered in small leaves known as sepals. These sepals act as a protective shell, safeguarding the delicate parts of the flower that are slowly beginning to form within. Inside the bud, the flower's reproductive parts, the stamen and the pistil, begin to take shape. The stamen, which is the male reproductive part, consists of the filament and the anther. The pistil, the female part, is made up of the stigma, style and ovary. These parts are crucial for the process of pollination, which is how flowers reproduce. While these internal parts develop, the petals also start to form. These are the colorful and often fragrant parts of the flower that we are most familiar with. Petals serve a crucial role in attracting pollinators such as bees, butterflies and birds. As all these parts come together, the bud gradually swells, reaching a point where the sepals can no longer contain it. At this stage, the bud opens, revealing the beautiful flower within. The petals unfurl, displaying their vibrant colors and releasing their sweet fragrance into the air. It's a spectacle of nature, a testament to the power of transformation. And that, my friends, is how a tiny bud blossoms into a beautiful flower. So now that we know how a flower forms, what is its purpose in the grand scheme of nature? Flowers, in their vibrant hues and tantalizing scents, are much more than just a feast for the eyes. They play a crucial role in the survival and propagation of plant species. Imagine a world without flowers. It's not just a less colorful place, but a world without fruits and many seeds. That's because flowers are the reproductive structures of plants. 
Their primary purpose is to attract pollinators, be it bees, birds or even bats, with their bright colors and sweet nectar. Once these pollinators visit the flower, they inadvertently pick up pollen and transfer it to another flower. This process, known as pollination, leads to fertilization and ultimately the formation of fruits and seeds. But flowers aren't just about propagation. They also serve a crucial role in the ecosystem, providing food and habitat for various organisms and even contributing to soil fertility. And let's not forget their aesthetic value. Flowers add beauty to our world, inspiring poets and artists for centuries. They are an expression of life's joy and vibrancy, a symbol of love, friendship and celebration. So, in essence, each flower is a small but significant cog in the grand machinery of nature. Their purpose extends beyond their own life, influencing the survival and growth of other organisms, including us humans. Flowers are not just about beauty, they are nature's way of ensuring the survival of plant species. So we've journeyed through the life of a flower, from its formation to its purpose. We've seen how a simple seed, through a miraculous process, transforms into a beautiful flower. We've delved into the intricate structure of a flower, discovering the wonder of petals, sepals, stamen and pistil, each part playing a critical role in the flower's life cycle. We've also witnessed the birth of a flower, a process that involves germination, growth and finally blooming. This journey from a tiny seed to a vibrant flower is truly a marvel of nature. Furthermore, we've understood the purpose of a flower, its role in reproduction and its importance in maintaining biodiversity. Flowers are more than just decorative elements in our environment. They're crucial agents of life, carrying out significant roles. Their beauty is just the icing on the cake. So, next time you see a flower, remember the incredible journey it has taken to bloom. Until next time, keep exploring the wonders of nature.